No Rest for the Wicked is a very different and unique game. And while it has some early access typical issues, there are some standout features here that are totally worth mentioning. The Alive system is absolutely amazing in this game. Let's say you have been to an area and you have explored everything, killed all enemies and collected all items and natural resources. That doesn't mean the area is now obsolete. The game features a constantly shifting and changing world. After around one hour, when you go back to an area, there will be new loot, new enemies, and sometimes even new NPCs and mini-bosses. This is great for farming resources, experience, healing items, and also money. You can see if an area has already changed on your map. If it looks normal, like this, the area is still in the state that you left it in. But if the area is now obscured by a dark layer on your map, that means the alive system has done its job, and you can expect the unexpected when going back there. This system is so brilliant, I'm sure a lot of games will take inspiration in the future. It's better than the traditional New Game Plus in my opinion. The realm system is such a great addition to the game as well and makes it less frustrating while increasing replayability drastically. When you create your character, you also create a realm along with it. But you're not restricted to just that realm. For example, when you feel like you're stuck in your current world, like you hit the wall or you just feel that the enemies are getting too strong to effectively farm resources or experience, then you can just go into a new realm with your current character. Keep all the progress and do whatever you want, whether it's killing easier enemies for XP, farming resources or explore the world for loot. Maybe you also just want to experience the story for a second time. Can we talk about how ridiculously badass the weapons sound in this game? Combat feels so crunchy, satisfying and impactful that I almost feel sorry for my enemies. I really like how they managed equipment rarity and progression here. It's one of the few games I know where common items are not practically useless. Instead, they are the most customizable rarity. For example, rare items have positive enchantments and plagued items have strong enchantments, but also a negative one. When you take a look at this plagued ring, it decreases my health a bit as a side effect, but also gives me 3% of health every time I deal damage, as well as some other useful enchantments. My sword is unique and has very good enchantments. It's a ton of fun to use. You have to time your attacks very carefully, but when you hit, you hit hard. Speaking of fun, most of your weapons will come with runes. Runes in this game are basically weapon skills and at one point you will be able to extract runes. This is great if you prefer the general weapon moveset of a specific weapon but want the weapon skill of another weapon. There are many options for you to choose and perfect your playstyle. The blacksmith allows you to upgrade your gear and the NPC Eleanor offers you the other options like enchanting, slotting gems and infusing or extracting. It would be wrong to make a video like this and not mention the art style and general graphical quality this game presents. I have around 15 hours into the game and I'm sure at least two hours were spent just admiring the landscape. Because the game offers a curved world, the drawing distance is increased for better immersion. The game uses stuff like real time lighting, weather effects look gorgeous, and it's simply a joy to look at how many of the world objects are animated and change depending on time and weather. I have talked about this last one in my first impressions, and it is my personal number one standout feature that I want to see in literally every role-playing game. And that is how Moon Studios pulled off the exploration aspect. So many times you get rewarded for exploring every inch of the map. If there's a corner that looks completely bland, unimportant or non-interactive at first, 
If you actually take the time to go these extra few meters, just in case something is hidden there, more often than not, you will be rewarded with shortcuts, hidden chests, hidden enemies, or even NPCs and entire small, new areas. It's simply a joy to explore this world. The verticality is great, as you can see in the gameplay as well. And coupled with the alive system and outstanding atmosphere, it really is just a lot of fun to play this. There's definitely more, so let us know your favorite aspects in the comments. A like is appreciated if this video was useful or entertaining.